Now, your weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Ashley Ruiz. A very happy Wednesday to you. It was another very warm day. Temperatures 83, a high set here in Baton Rouge, and that breaks a previous record from 1984. The record high. 79 degrees, so well above that. And that's going to be the case possibly once again tomorrow and Friday and Saturday where we have the potential to either tie or break previous record high temperatures. Temperatures right now are still in the 70s, mid and upper 70s, and temperatures will slowly come down over the next couple hours. And you can see it's pretty damp out there, cloudy conditions, and we still have that potential for passing showers tonight. Not seeing much out there, but but we'll give it about a 30% chance for rain overnight. No severe weather with that, but temperatures, again, 70s. So, again, 30% chance for rain overnight and into early Thursday morning. Across the area, mid, upper 60s, lower 70s, possibly some fog in the morning as well, especially for the areas that did deal with some rain today. Highs tomorrow, lower 80s. 81 is the record high for tomorrow. So we'll see if we break that, but likely at least going to tie it. Rain chances come back up on Saturday, New Year's Day, and that's going to bring a cold front in. So Saturday is cold front day. It will likely pass by the evening. And then Sunday morning, 20% chance for rain. It's going to be cold. That's going to be the weather story going forward after Saturday. So the future track is showing again maybe some light rain tomorrow morning. We're mostly dry by the afternoon. We'll have clouds and peaks of sunshine in the mix. Friday morning again maybe some fog. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s quickly warming up into the lower 80s. Not expecting really much in the way of rainfall. And here's Saturday morning at the uh, as we're ringing in the new year, midnight, you see temperatures in the 70s. You can see a little bit of rain showing the possibility for a stray shower. But don't worry, we're expecting to stay mostly dry at least until Saturday with the cold front moving in. The Storm Prediction Center does still have a good bit of the uh, deep and mid-south under a slight risk for severe weather. Our area is not officially in that slight risk as most of the energy should stay to our north, but that could certainly change. Something we're watching. The GFS model has a good bit of rain at least for the morning into the afternoon. Then here comes the cold front late in the day and rain coverage starts to increase, but we're not anticipating it to rain all day long. Cold front moves in Saturday night and into early Sunday, and that pushes all that warm, moist air to our east. And then Sunday is going to be cold, especially with the wind. Once it picks up, it's going. the air is going to have a bite. Let's just go with that. We'll have clearing skies, temperatures struggling to even reach the upper 40s. Wind chills will be in the 30s, so that will be our feels-like temperature. And we have very cold nights ahead. So 39 for a low Sunday morning, 29 Monday. Some spots may even drop into the mid-20s. So we'll likely have our first uh, freeze of the season. And that could also be the case. Uh, Monday night and into Tuesday. So something we're watching will likely have freeze watches and freeze warnings in effect starting on Sunday. So we'll give you more information on that. But a little bit of everything in the forecast. So if you like winter, it's coming. Don't worry. And then we're back up to 70 by 